what is going on to you Libras so let's begin so you Libras have the Queen of Pentacles the tower and the lovers so for you Libras right um, the, the Queen of Pentacles speaks to you Libras still okay it speaks to how a lot of you Libras are uh, you're essentially equipped to handle almost any situation and we're gonna have to go over that almost because the tower and the lovers is about what where your weakness is right your weakness is in you trying to get to know people they're wasting your time they're getting you on your nerves and you Libras have to get to a point where you stop allowing people to get you on your nerves and how you do that as I said before is from is from it's from um I'm trying to get in some air yo it's from experience See, a lot of you Libras are not very, a lot of you Libras are very much so experienced, but y'all don't necessarily understand that your worst enemies are often your so-called friends or the people that you're trying to get to know romantically. All air signs share this problem. So the situation for you uh, Libras is that you have to understand that don't over rely, overly rely on your friends or your family or even the people that you are romantically engaged with or romantically linked up with you don't want to do that and the reason why is because when they start when these people are not really official and they start wanting to pull some nonsense they're going to get you on your nerves they're going to get you upset they're going to get you on your nerves and the worst thing in the world for you to do, right, when you're inexperienced, but we all do it, including myself, I used to do it, was I used to get upset because all I, because the truth is, what you Libras need is the knowledge. That's what you Libras need. You need the knowledge. You need to understand what's actually going on. The problem that you're having is you're unable to actually make heads or tails of what's going on. And the truth is, is that part of the reason why people are wasting your time like that is because um, they're not really real, right? Or maybe they could be doing something. But, I mean, it's pretty easy to tell if somebody's being 100 with you because there, there's, not, there's not really anything nefarious. They're letting you know what's going on. And, I mean, maybe they are potentially getting to a to a uh, attraction triggers right things that you Libras would find attractive but they that's they they're not necessarily intentionally doing that it's just a part of who they actually are so the tower and the lovers is there is here for you Libras to learn the lesson of actually respecting yourself because a lot of you Libras are unfortunately in a position where you're thinking a little bit too much about that person who could could be your significant other. You're thinking too much about them. And what I mean when I say that you're thinking too much about them, I'm talking about like, you're getting too upset about the fact that they're, of, of, of the fact of their own inconsistency. They tell you that they wanna hang out, they flake, all this other type of stuff. If a person flakes on me, then it is what it is. You know, will I be a little bit upset? Yeah, a little bit. But that's that's literally gonna last minutes. It's literally gonna last maybe 10, 20 minutes, if that, five minutes, somewhere around there, and then immediately go away. And then I'm gonna do something else because I literally have things to do. I have a whole list <laughs> of things that I'm crossing off and stuff like this, literally on my phone, literally, like a huge list of accomplishments and things that I want to cross off and I'm literally going no 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 nonsense I'm being serious and I'm literally crossing off the list and stuff like this so if the person doesn't want really want to hang out shrugs my shoulders right I really don't care because they're not my family members these are not people who you you know what I mean who you Libras grew up with who are these people to you 
And this is what I'm talking about. The lovers, you have to learn to love yourself through that nonsense. Even when they start the tower, even when they start pulling that nonsense, you Libra still have love for yourself. The love doesn't change just because people act like they're stupid. The emperor is about how you still manage to have self-respect regardless of what happens. You show love to yourself. You don't change in the worst way possible based upon the games that people are playing with you. You change for the better. You realize who's there for you and who's not. And if they don't want to hang out with you, if they don't want to be there for you, who cares? It's their loss. The Four of Swords speaks to how a lot of you also have to understand that, um, yeah, you put an end to it. Don't try to force anything. And and some people are a little bit um, not sure as to what that means. So I'm going to turn it into a teachable moment. What I mean when I say that do not try to force it, I'm talking about it from a perspective of you Libras have to understand to not... Don't, don't try, don't get upset with anybody when they decide that they don't want to actually follow through with any of the things that they, that they say that they're going to do. Because at the end of the day, that's actually putting the power back in your hands. Because if you Libras were to stop hanging out with them, they would stalk you. I... <laughs> They would stalk you. They will literally stalk you. So the thing is that the, um, so you Libras have to start understanding your power. If a person is difficult to deal with, do not associate yourself with them. So now the Knight of Pentacles represents no matter how they come off. And they may come off wonderful. They may come off like you, you know, you Libras are the bread, are the you Libras are the best thing since sliced bread. Do not uh, care about that. Listen to what they have to say and watch what they do. Pay attention to both of those things. The, the, uh, the star card is about how since that's the case, you're looking for someone to actually do right by you. This is what you really want deep down. You want somebody to actually care about you and what you've got going on. But the, the Sun card and the Three of Pentacles speaks to you have to learn to care about it for yourself. That's what, that's the reason why you uh, Libras have the lovers. You have to learn to understand yourself. You have to learn to love yourself. And that if you don't love yourself, then no one is gonna love you for harder than you love you. Your family members may love you and all of that. And your close friends that you can trust with your life and all of that, they may love you, which is great, but it's still not going to feel as good if you love yourself. And on top of that, all the people still love you as well. It is going to be a waste of time. Because this is why it is that you Libras, if you don't learn to love yourself, if you don't learn to... Be more patient if you don't learn to stop caring about if the person doesn't want to go out or hang out or whatever, then you're going to have more problems. You're going to get more upset. And I understand where the anger is coming from. You're naive. You're putting yourself out here in a sense of wanting to actually hang out. And it just seems like people are just wasting your time. That's why it is that you should never over rely on anyone, including the people that you call your friends and your family. You can rely on them, but don't over rely on them. Still have a, like I said, what have, what have I been saying? Still have a life, still have other things to do that brings you, that, that you bring purpose to because when you have other other interests, guess what happens? People can't mess with you when you have other interests. A lot of times people flake or have flaked on me. And I used to get very upset, 
very upset. I used to get my, I, you know, I, I used to get my bag about it. You know, I used to have a temper about that. But now, because what, what I realized is me being a Virgo and all of that, me being mercurial and all of that, what I needed was knowledge. I know, I know what, give, I want the knowledge. I know how to operate and I know how to be autonomous. All I'm looking for is the knowledge. That's all I'm looking for. I'm just looking for the intel. Once I get the intel, right, I was able to stop being so upset, stop being angry, stop. I was able to stop getting into my bag and into my temper about it because I, what, cause I had the knowledge as to what was going on. You Libras are, are extra frustrated because like I said, you don't know how to make sense of the situation. You steadily trying to figure out why would this person act like they rocking with you one minute and then the next minute it's like they completely flake. That's just the, the name of what people are doing. They playing games. But if they playing games, it is what it is. You can't control people. This is this is what I mean when I say that the psychology of like you gotta learn to control people is absolutely it's 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 dog water. It's dirty dog water. It's it's <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's you know, it's 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 as dirty as my 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 own pet dog's paws it is or are after I take my lovely, wonderful dog that I love very much for a, a walk. Paws be dirty. So what do I do? I have to I have to bathe her. Right? It's a, it's a cold world out here. And the best thing for you Libras to do is to, the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, have other interests. Because that's a motorcycle. But I'm in the bikes, if you don't know. But um, uh, because you have other interests, guess what that means? Because you have other interests. When you have other interests, right, it won't be so frustrating to have to deal with someone who is wasting your time. Because if that doesn't work out between them when they decide that they want to flake, you literally have a million and one other things for you to do. You can hang out with your friends, hang out with your family members. You can learn to get better, right? Some sort of skill or something like that, something like that. I don't I don't I don't have all the time to be sociable all the time. The people that I hang out with the majority of my time is either by myself or my family members. I don't hang out a lot of the times with like people who I'm not genetically related to too much. I do. I hang out with them a little bit and then I'm like, "I right, I got a bunch I got a I got a bunch of books. I got a bunch of books to read. This nonsense about, you know, if I spend too much time talking to these people, no disrespect, but when am I going to find the time to read all those books? I'm not. So variety is what you leavers are needing. Now let's get to it. Let's clarify the three of pentacles. Six of Wands, Five of Pentacles, the Moon, Three of Cups, and then you have the Hangman. So, the Knight of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and the Moon is about how the best thing that you Libras can do for yourself is to understand that those people don't necessarily know if they're ever going to see you again. This is the reason why you have to build your own strength for yourself to where you don't really need a whole lot of people because you can't count on a lot of individuals that that level of reliance is only reserved and it should only be reserved for people who are not in the game who you can see that you actually can rely and count on that's the reason why it is that they flaking they flaking because they're looking at it from a perspective of 
They don't know if they're ever going to see you again. They don't, they don't know you. So they don't know if they're ever going to see you again. And maybe they may know that you'll probably see them again or stuff like this. But maybe they think that you're too good for them. So they're like, okay, I don't know, right? Hands up, I don't know. The three of cups and the hangman. When I say I don't know, I'm talking about this is how they're thinking. They, they are thinking that you Libras are too good for them. And that you Libras may not see them. So why would you Libras, the way that they're thinking is why would you Libras tell them that you're going to hang out such and such because they think of you Libras as being busy. So they flake anyway. I told y'all Libras that when you see people flake, it's because most of the times it's because they scared. The Three of Cups and a Hangman is about how um, they may party. They could do whatever it is that they want to do. But regardless of whether they partying or what have you or whatever, they still wasting their own time. It still doesn't bring you Libras closer to them. This is why you don't rely on them. Because you Libras of all people know you shouldn't trust them. The best thing for you Libras to do is to learn to stand on your own two feet better and, and do what? Which you already probably know how to do. But do what? Stop taking people's word for it. 